And then you have to try this cookie. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up, my dudes? What's, hey, what's up? up dudes? <laughs> Will you say hi for my YouTube video? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hey, what's up, my dudes? It's Kirsten from It's Whatever. About a hundred, yes, right. And as you can see, I'm in a little really? different. <laughs> Where I'm in a little different area than so I usually am. My mom outside right now. and the, our friend Brooklyn are on a ghost hunt right now at the Missouri State Penitentiary. Okay, so I'm going to be recording this. Okay. I'm posting everything we see. Okay, love you too. Wish okay. me luck. Pray that love something it. doesn't follow me home. Thanks. I mean, you know, I'm going to be straight honest with you. Everybody that knows me, I hate haunted places. I don't even know why the hell I do this. <laughs> he was with us uh, not too long before this, and uh, he had been known at the time to wear a visor upside down and backwards, which is it's fine. At the time, it was... It was... Oh, don't I don't even know. I don't even Okay, so we're starting at the gas chamber. They said that there's not a lot of paranormal activity here, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, y'all, I'm in the gas chamber right now, sitting on the chairs, and we're about to turn the lights off. Did you hurt someone really bad? Did you kill someone? Oh, that went on mm -hmm. here. Were you found guilty of murder, but they didn't think it was self defense? Obviously not. Mm -hmm. Did you stab someone? Whoa. Okay. Red. Okay, so I am in the middle of editing our video and I am going through the footage and I hear something in one of the videos and I'm like, what the heck is that? And so I rewind it and I play it again. And I rewind it and I play it again. And I rewind it and I play it again. And my roommate is sitting over there. Oh, I asked her like if she heard that. And she was like, oh, dude, I thought you were watching a video of someone screaming. And I was like, no, no, it's just a video. And I called my mom and I asked her if like someone had screamed that night and I just don't remember. And she was like, no, like that didn't happen. So uh, here's the video. Uh, you guys can think what you want, but we hear screams, so. Ghost box too. All right, so there's variations on them. Originally, um, I had an AM FM radio that I would use, and that's okay. Um, Zaphis was the first one to ever teach me how to use it. And so you put it on the scan, you ask questions, and somewhere in the white noise, you'd hope to get an answer. It's usually a girl, I call her Mary, she has an English accent. She seems to go wherever I go. It's cool. <laughs> she's, she's, very, she's always very friendly. There's a guy sometimes that likes to yell boo. He thinks it's funny. Uh, sometimes he must be get, ten. Sometimes you know who's in. Hey, this is Dustin. Is anybody there? I don't know that language, but that's cool. how are you guys doing? Turn it off. It's almost off. Save your energy. I'll have you do it again. Keep going. <laughs> no. <laughs> do you like it? Like I can do it. <laughs> it's so cool. Girl. Oh, wow. You like playing with them. Touch Katie's legs. Not Brooklyn's. <laughs> Please know the difference. There's just all these files in here down in the psych ward that they just left here. It's insane. These are like their daily logs. So like mm -hmm. CO Officer Shepard Lee Adams, Massa Verbe's evening shift. COI Lee Skull. This is like how someone's mind is working. This is Zeus. Zeus. I know. Uh, love. It says honor, respect, honor. brotherhood, loyalty, loyalty family. family. Brotherhood, family. Respect. It's all in your family. family. Oh, look at that drawing. So before I end this video, um, I just wanted to talk about something that happened that night. Um, I haven't talked about it with a lot of people because it's kind of like controversial, but you know, 
I'm gonna put it out there. The one room that we heard the scream in, that was the gas chamber. So the gas chamber had like two sides and like one side was the actual gas chamber. The other side, it was like a wall and a like window. So you could see into the gas chamber and then there was like bleachers and stuff. And so we were over there and I was standing in front of the window and it was me, my mom, and then our friend Brooklyn. So, um, I was just standing there and I was trying to like listen to what they were saying on the other side because you couldn't really hear very well and so I was like really focused on it and I felt my mom like put her hand on my back and like start like rubbing it like in like a loving way you know like whenever you like see someone that's kind of scared like you kind of just like calm them down and I was like I'm not scared right now like you're fine and so I like looked at her and I was like mom stop and she was like honey I'm not doing anything and I was like what the heck so I turned around and no one was behind us like everyone was on the bleachers on this side and so I was like okay whatever so I keep like <coughs> watching and I feel it again and I'm like mom stop and her and Brooklyn were both like Kirsten like we weren't touching you she wasn't touching you like and no one was touching you and I was like okay there was something else that had happened in there like we heard a uh, voice. It sounded like recording though. It sounded like, hey, can I help you? Hey, can I help you? You know, whenever someone has like a Snapchat up and it like is on the infinity loop. So it was like that. And, um, we just thought it was someone like messing around outside. So like we stepped outside and we talked to the girl about that, the one that was leading. And she was like, uh, yeah, no one out here was on their phones. Like there shouldn't have been anything that was doing that. And so we were like, cool awesome we start talking like just like talking to the spirit like trying to see if there's something still in there my back starts to burn and I'm like what the heck why is my back burning and I was like I like looked at my mom and I think I asked her like is it hot in here and she was like no and I was like okay and my back was just burning and so I go mom I'm stepping outside will you come with me and like look at my back and she was like yeah totally the picture that I'm about to show you was like an hour and a half, maybe two hours after it had actually happened. So uh, here's the picture of my back. Uh, my mom didn't want to make a big scene about it or anything. She didn't want me to get upset. And I was already like on the verge of tears when she told me like there were scratches on my back. And at this point I was shaking because I was so scared. And so Brooklyn had one arm, my mom had my other arm. And like, cause I was like, I felt like I was going to pass out. And someone brought me water, and, um, the psychic, she was, like, just, like, feeling my back and, like, making sure, like, everything was okay. And, yeah, so that was extremely scary. That's one of the reasons that I don't have, like, a ton of footage from that night, because after that, I was kind of shaking. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. <laughs> leave a likes up. Uh, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, a comment, subscribe. Do whatever you please. Share it with your friends, your family, and your succulents. Because that's all I have around me right now. My succulent is dying. How do you kill a succulent? Like, really, Kirsten? I should probably water it. Yep, but that's it for this video. I will see you guys on Thursday. And as always, stay sweet. Bye.